Hi, this is Rhonda from Rhonda's Reptiles, and today I'm going to feature a couple of boas that I have. Um, both are from the same litter, and this is going to show how the way snakes are fed determines their growth rate. Now one, I've had her since she was born here. Um, there was an accidental breeding and we had these babies. The other one was owned for a while by somebody else who had to go off to college and brought the snake back to me. And you'll be quite amazed at the difference in the size of these two animals. Now I'm going to pull this one out. This is Rocky, aka Roxanne. <laughs> this Roxanne is actually a female and the owner had thought it was a male. And I'm going to bring this pretty girl up. I always use a snake hook, especially for the big snakes, because, you know, you just want any surprises. And with these cages, they're, you know, they're kind of at face level, so we don't want to get, um, nobody wants to get bit. Okay, now this is the one that oh, I got tagged, <laughs> but that's okay. That's why we don't want them near our faces. Okay, now this is, like I said, this is a two-year-old boa. She was fed every week. I don't want her near my face because I don't want to get tagged in the face. And so we're going to put her back up here. You got to see how big she is. And she, like I said, she was fed probably every week a couple of large rats per week. Now this is the, cin the cinnamon, who was her sibling from the same litter, who as you can see is much smaller. She's very healthy, just never fed her anything really big. Uh, feed her on a regular basis, usually every three weeks. She gets one to two adult mice, and then um, that is quite sufficient for her. She'll grow at a much slower rate, which for me, I prefer that because when they grow that fast, they can have a tendency, they grow as fast as Roxanne here, they can have a tendency to be overweight. And that's really not good for the heart and lungs. And they grow slower. Um, personally, I feel it's better because, um, you know, they'll have a longer lifespan. Uh, will create less health issues. Snakes don't expend a lot of energy being cold-blooded animals. Um, and their metabolism being extremely slow. So they're not going to expend a lot of energy. So they don't need to eat that often. And they're, you know, spend most of their time in cages, you know, so they're not like out hunting food and things like that. So they usually let you know when they're hungry. So when they let me know they're hungry, I'll feed them. Um, but that's today's segment. Hope I didn't scare anybody off of ever getting a bow or after getting tagged. But, um, you know, next time, you know, we'll touch on some of the other animals that we have here at Rhonda's Reptiles because we certainly have a lot of them. Thank you and see you next time.